you're a handicap born black in America. I'm your host, Ramon Roan, and this is being brought to you by Concerned Citizen Alliance, where our motto is, local politics makes a difference. The title of this video is, VH1 is aiding in the destruction of the black community. You know, the black, I, I said in uh, videos and um, whether or not you agree or disagree, whether you agree or disagree, the black man, the black family has always been under fire. Eliminate the black man. If you read the uh, Patrick Moynihan's report um, back in, I think he was in the late 60s or early 70s, um, and the impact of the black family without the father. So if you can eliminate the father, just think about this. The elimination of the male lion and the pride, that elimination, the female pride, the female lions, the lioness, they are they are vulnerable. The elimination of the black man out of the home, it makes the family, the black family, our mother, it makes her vulnerable. Single parent homes, especially black, they are more likely to be in poverty without the father. Two are better than one. Boy, so I think I did a video on this some time, last year sometime about the impact that um, uh, that reality television have on it. I mean, you know, reality of like um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, something like that, or, or basketball wise. I mean, how do you qualify? And most of the people that are on basketball wise, they're not wives, they're girlfriends. No offense to them. And then, let's go through a list. All right. Um, the, I mean, you know, this, this, kind, this, this kind of television is promoting sloppy and, and tragic decision making. I mean, what good is coming from this? Is it, you, you, I, I hope you don't consider this entertainment. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. I have, I have, at least I had to watch it to be able to share with you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I hate the fact that beautiful black women, beautiful black women, that, and how they behave, that's not emblematic of, that doesn't represent our culture. We're noble, we, we come from kings and queens. We're not thoughts or whatever you'll call those things. <laughs> whatever you want to call them. We're not that. Here we are. I mean, you know, we're 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 giving these reality stars as if I mean that as if they're they're actually stars. What have they done? I mean, we look at Mimi Paws. No offense to the young girl, I but she's 44 years old. What in the world was going on to where she is um have a porn a, a, a porn that she got a daughter. I mean, let's go with Stevie J. With Stevie J. She has a daughter, and, and her, now her daughter um, now has to deal with the fact that mommy decided to make a porn, uh, uh, a porn video, not with her husband, no, with a dude, her boyfriend. Come on, give me a break. How does that impact? Is it the 30 pieces of silver, the Judas? Are we having that syndrome going on in our black community? That they'll sell us out? Uh, believe me, there are many blacks that have sold us out for that dollar. I thought that Mimi was an entrepreneur. I believe she owned a, um, when, I, when I first heard about her, I think that she owned a, a cleaning, an office cleaning business, a cleaning something like that. But anyway, I mean, and now she made it. Now she want to get paid. It helped ratings. They may make uh, are making ridiculous people look prominent uh, members of the of the, the African American community. Reality stars are now prominent. What? Why? Do black people really need more about? And that, that's another thing to fight, especially in back basketball wise. That beautiful um, Puerto Rican girl, uh, whatever her name is, can't remember her name is. Um, oh man, um, yeah, yeah, Evelyn, beautiful black woman. Oh my goodness, she's a beautiful girl. Watch her fighting. We don't need to have our sisters fighting. Another one is that um, 
is that are we just brain dead obsessed to watching the destruction? See, if you're watching it, that means that the advertisers are saying, hey, you're going to watch it and you're going to buy my product. I wouldn't even buy their product. I don't watch the show. I don't even know what they adver what advertise on that show. I wouldn't watch it. Now, as I get ready to wrap up, as I'm trying to keep my video short, like trying to wrap this up here, is that Ida B. Wells wanted and was encouraging the blacks to control have black newspapers. She had a newspaper. Um, we need to control our black media. VH1 is not for black people. Let me repeat that again. VH1 is not is not good for black people. We need our own network, our own television station. We need to get away from VH1. VH1 is a Viacom network owned by a, a mogul Sumner Redstone, a white man. Here he is. Do you think Summer has your best interests at heart? Not, I don't want you to judge his appearance. No, uh uh. Because it's not just because he's white doesn't mean that he's wrong. Let's judge what he does, what he supports. He's putting, he's allowing this stuff on his network. And then you, I like what um, Dr. Umar Johnson says that this television is propaganda. Be careful. Look, as a, I, I'm a Christian. Um, you have to know the tools of the devil. I'm not gonna call a white man the devil, but but any 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 person that is putting this trash on television, he is not your friend. He is your enemy. Don't give him what he wants, and that's attention. This has been Handicapped Born Black in America. I'm Ramon Rome. It's being brought to you by Concerned Citizens Alliance, where our motto is, local politics makes a difference. My time is up, and I thank you for your